Hi everybody, it's Mike Grumbles, the Relocation Engineer. It's December. This is the video newsletter. I want to first give you a couple of really cool things you can do in Franklin and around Williamson County. First is the Heritage Foundation's doing their biggest, probably biggest festival of the entire year. That's known as Dickens Christmas on Main Street, 10th and 11th from 10 a.m. to 5. I'm going to have a link where you can learn more about some great parking spaces so you don't get caught up in the traffic just driving in. That's going to be an awesome time. Next is also downtown on Franklin's Great Franklin Theater. Um, every Saturday this month, they are playing uh, some really cool Christmas mu movies, including uh, A Christmas Story, A Wonderful Life, um, whatever. So those are all going to be um, in the link down below. So you can get in and check those out on Saturdays all this month. Um, as well, in the Franklin Theater on... Um, New Year's Eve, if you like country music, Phil Vassar's playing, and there's still some seats available, so I'll have a link to uh, where you can get in and get in on some uh, Phil Vassar tickets. Um, another thing I want to let you know about, not in Franklin, but in Leapers Fork, our neighboring uh, town, little village there, this Saturday, December 10th, is their Christmas parade, and it is a bucket list item. You just must get out and check out their parade and it's scheduled to start at two o'clock um, this Saturday but you want to get out there early go enjoy the shops and make sure you get a great seat up on the street there and watch that it's going to be probably the best Christmas parade you've ever seen uh, it's very lighthearted and fun now I'll be back with you in just a minute we'll talk about the real estate Looking, market and we're still in that market where inventory is still low just wanted to give you a stat to help seeing that home to you, bring it home to you, is that uh, compared to a year ago in single family residential across the entire county, we're down 23% in just active listings. So we're down close to around just over a thousand now where that used to be a year ago was at 1,400 uh, homes for sale in all of Williamson County. Another one that you'd be glad to hear about is that the... Um, Williamson County uh, average price per square foot is up. It's now at about $164.30, um, and that's up from a year ago. Um, that's really a good benefit for everybody in town. Um, that's up 6.5%. So a year ago it was around $472,000. Now it's over $502,000. That's for the average sold home in the county. Um, just a, a interesting fact that I pulled up off of my data today. 45% um, of our market in the county is in Franklin. 20% of the market is from Brentwood. And uh, when I was looking at those numbers, that just, I mean, I kind of knew that to begin with, that most of our market is Franklin and secondary market is Brentwood. But uh, in comparing that to the amount of sold, it's kind of interesting. In Spring Hill, the 15% of the market comes from Spring Hill, yet only 6% of the active listings are in Spring Hill. So just bringing home that fact even more that we have a shortage, Spring Hill really has a shortage in our county. So if you're thinking about selling a house in Spring Hill, now is a really good time because you're not going to have to compete against many homes, yet there are still a lot of buyers out looking in Spring Hill. Um, I'll have all these facts and a couple more down below. You're more than welcome to peruse that. And as always, reach out to me, the relocation engineer, when you want to know exactly what the real estate market in Wilco is doing.